global phenomenon. And even though the trilogy was very uneven, parts of it were very powerful. And I actually liked Matrix Resurrections and them doing something more meta and romantic. But Matrix Resurrections did not make a lot of money. However, as a story, it's uneven, but it's a very interesting saga. And whatever else we think about it, it is the vision of the Wachowskis. Granted, last time, we only had one Wachowski, technically. So the creative team has already drifted. Many different people have worked on the Matrix series. And uneven as it is, it is still technically a very creative vision. However, Drew is a very creative person. He has done a lot of good work, even on Buffy and on Daredevil and other things. Yet, this is not really the product of his genius, right? He's stepping into something he did not create. Now, granted, The Matrix is very derivative. It takes a lot from comics, a lot from anime, especially anime. There's a lot from anime. It takes a lot from different sources. So it's not an original work, right? Clearly, it's based on old philosophical books like Descartes and Plato and the Bible. So it's not literally original. Nevertheless, it is the product of a certain creative team. And that creative team has changed a lot, but it still stayed within a certain domain. Now we're going with a totally new creative team. And granted, we don't know yet what the ideas are, but we got to be honest. Is Keanu really going to do this? Probably not. What about Carrie? What about Lawrence? What about Hugo? It's just a lot of question marks. And I think for this to work, they're going to have to use some of the old cast because otherwise I think people are going to be very nervous about this whole thing. So at this point, just a lot of question marks. Again, this would inevitably happen, right? The Matrix is an interesting mythology. I think most people hearing this probably have their own Matrix story. I have a Matrix story. I definitely have ideas for my own Matrix script. Nevertheless, there is something we said about moving on from that original vision and really altering it. Now, maybe whatever Drew does will tie into that original four films and will work with that story, but probably not. They're probably just going to have to redefine the whole thing to make a cool, exciting new adventure. And it's just the danger of the Matrix becoming like a McDonald's kids meal, which definitely it was not. It was meant to be a radical challenge. Now, was it super radical leftist cinema? No, but it was definitely there with a message, a philosophy, a point of view. And good or bad, it was a very strong left-wing film criticizing capitalism. Cap, right? The whole point was to question the system, whether the system was fascism, capitalism, conformity, so on and so forth. Maybe it didn't work, but it had a very interesting ambition to be very challenging to the viewer. And sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But the whole point, it was trying to be a very creative vision. Now it's being more and more turned into a product and trying to be domesticated. I guess this is like Rage Against the Machine. Yes, it's a radical challenge, but it works within the system. So how radical is it? I don't know. It's a very difficult question, but you can't deny there was an ambition to do something very radical, mixing philosophy, cinema, anime, comic books, and all these different elements together into an interesting vision. So I hope for the best. And Drew is a very interesting, good writer. I've not known his directorial works too much. I will try to bone up on that. But as a writer, he is rock solid. Nevertheless, I am a little frightened. It's going to be turned into a pretty silly parody of itself where we're just going to have Kung Fu and the pretense of philosophy, but really not the real deal. Again, Drew is a very liberal person. So yeah, probably the political vision will still be, quote, on the left. But again, for its moment in time, the Matrix was fairly radical and it was fairly interesting. And I'm just worried we're going to lose that with, you know, some very weak, silly stuff that will have echoes of the past, but really does not have much to do with the Matrix. And whatever we want to say about Matrix Resurrections, the echoes at least were by the actual author of the piece. Granted, not the whole creative team, but it was authorized by the actual creative team that at least created the first Matrix. Here, and yes, one of the Wachowskis is an executive producer, but if you know Hollywood, that really doesn't mean anything. So I hope for the best, but at this moment, I'm kind of nervous. But I'm not going to lie, as a YouTuber, this is great. I'm going to get a lot of scoops. I'm going to keep people updated. I am interested where they're going, but I got to be honest, as a hardcore fan, I am mainly pessimistic anything good will come of it.